right, what's up? It is lip service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Stephanie Santiago. I'm Gigi McGuire. All right, straight out of Chi Town. What's up, man? It's G Herbo. G Herbo ladies, is here. Ladies. By the way, you're 21 now, so happy yeah. belated birthday. Thank happy belated yeah, birthday. Happy Thank birthday. y'all. I appreciate it. You doing anything differently now that you're 21 that you couldn't do before? Mm, no. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> we said that. I can't even recall it. I've probably been 21 for like five years mm-hmm. now. Okay. Oh, it's still a milestone. You got the legal ID now. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the only thing I've been doing. Like, all in the airport, I might bad shot just up my ID instantly on the talk, huh? There you go. <laughs> that's all I'm doing. Just thirsty to up my ID on everybody. You never had a <laughs> fake ID? Um, nope. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So, we always start off lip service with a tip of the day. All right. And here's your tip. Nobody likes your girl. So, how do you handle it? Do you bring um, her around? The holidays are coming. Can she meet your family, your parents? Yeah. I'm but they not, don't like her. If I feel like with me and if I would like with any female that's my significant other, I'm not going to be um, afraid to embrace her, you know what I'm saying, or bring her around anybody. As long as I'm comfortable with her, nobody could really tell me why they don't like her or make me feel any type of way. Like, nobody could make me feel a certain type of way about nobody mm-hmm. that I that I mess with, you know what I'm saying, besides that person. So, um, But you don't feel like sometimes change. if they don't like her, there might be a legitimate reason if your parents don't yeah. like her, management don't like her. Yeah, I want to hear everybody's side of the story, but if it's not any, you know what I'm saying, legitimate reason, you just don't want to see me doing something, then I'm, I'm not going to live with that. What do you have to say about that, Steph? Well, I just think, ladies, if, you know, you have a boyfriend and your friends and they don't like them. Just right. get rid of all your friends. Whoa. <laughs> you're such a liar. Right, you like, don't mean that. I mean, I'm just saying that's what you're going to do anyway. Right. You know? You're always going to choose your so. man. Not even to try to cut you off. Like, how, I feel, how will my, my lady look at me if I'm acting one way around her, but then I'm scared to bring her around other people or I'm worried about what the next person has to say that don't really bring no happiness in my life or it's not beneficial to nothing I got going on. So she probably look at me like I'm less than a man. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, no, absolutely. I agree with exactly. that. Exactly. How could you, I can't, I don't want to. No, I, and, and you know, it's, it's, um, a lot of times you, uh, you can get in a guy's ear about somebody that they're dealing with and you know, that would really influence them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I always so. been my own man though. Like mm-hmm. always. What about you, Gigi? People are very judgmental. That's true. And I think that initially when people say they don't like someone, it's usually because of that initial vibe they feel from what they've heard or seen from the outside looking in. And people are often quick to judge people and say that they don't like them or don't like stuff about them before they get the chance to know them. Mm -hmm. So I think that the whole nobody likes nobody likes this your significant other thing it's kind of like nobody knows your significant other the way you know your significant other either so you don't know what I know to like the good qualities just because this person may have a shaky past or just because this person may do something or may have done something that you don't agree with doesn't mean that they're a bad person and that you should not like them for that we all have shaky past too I think that people Everybody. need to just get to know someone before they judge and say that they don't like them. So to answer the question, I would bring my people around mm-hmm. because you're going to get to know them for yourself. And before judging them, I'm going to allow you to get to know them. Now, if I bring them around and something happens to so where though I can't deny the fact that 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 person don't need to be around, then so be it. But for people to just say, oh, I don't like her or I don't like him, it's just like... But you don't know them. Right. So what don't you like? Because exactly. Sometimes I want to get a bad vibe, though, because I have friends who yeah, have boyfriends intuition is everything. that I don't like. And yeah. Terrible, you going to do a shot with us for your birthday? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a shot with y'all. Hey. You know, I'm not going to be booed. I mean, I know it was like a month ago almost. I'm going to take, but... take a shot with y'all. How could I turn y'all down? <laughs> I can't Here we say go. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, like, another thing I wanted to add on, if if you just saying, you just stuck on, you don't like somebody for no reason, and you not telling me, a legitimate reason why you may not like that person or what's making you and you just don't want to see me happy I may not even want to be around you no more mm-hmm. I'll say I had one boyfriend that my friends didn't like well maybe two and my parents didn't like but they was pretty right I will say that cause they don't really normally just not like somebody right. so if they don't sometimes there's a good reason 
you know, for I mean, I, but that's not true all the time. Either. Yeah, sometimes. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes people will just not like you because of the things they heard about you mm -hmm. or because of your friends. Right. You know what I mean? Things like that. Exactly. That's why <clears throat> you could go, that goes either two ways. That goes one of two ways. Either the guy listens or he doesn't. Right. You know what I mean? And honestly, if I'm dating somebody and his friends don't like me, I don't really want to be around them. Right. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't, like you said, you would bring, um, you would bring the person around your people. Like if my people don't like my man, I'm not going to force him on them. Mm -hmm. Like if you don't like him, you're, you're not supposed to like him. I That's my man. You know what I mean? I was saying it for yeah. them to get, to, to, know, know them. get right. to know them. And then at yeah, that nah, point, I if they still even, don't match them, I wouldn't even, that. even, I'm the type of person, especially like with my friends and the guys that I'm dating, if they tell me, oh, I don't like him, it's like, okay, then I don't talk about him with them. You know, right. it's just, like you don't like him I don't like that you don't like him so we're just gonna leave Agreed it there right. you know what I mean right well my, I'm not gonna lie they was dead on with this one guy he was terrible I, a lot of times they were you know I noticed that my friends he lied right. about like, a lot of things he lied about how many kids he had he lied oh, about man. his age like he told me he was um 23 at the time but he was 27 he was right. like cause I was in so when I asked him about it cause everybody was telling me he said oh you know I had went to jail for 4 years so that's 4 years they took from my oh, life shit. so I took uh, it off my uh, age no, I was yeah, like come yeah. on you can't just take yeah, off see, 4 years like that he messed it up for guys <laughs> like me you know and other people like me cause I don't lie I'm honest like Right. brutally honest whatever the case may be I don't want nobody to look at me crazy and like before before we even go to another subject like she was saying really um with, if somebody feel like that they don't like my significant other and like she said they don't have to be around or um what what word was I trying to what, not even what term I was looking for as far as bringing somebody around I don't I don't want my significant other to be uncomfortable to feel you know right. what I'm saying to feel like she, awkward, I'm forcing so. her around you know what I'm saying like right. I don't want that at all you know and I'm the type where I'm everything I am off experience so let me figure out what type of person right. this is I'm not gonna just that's how I feel you know too. I'm gonna live my life regardless I'm gonna do what I wanna do regardless if what anybody tell me whether it's my mama you know that's so what I that's what I'm saying like if, if your friends don't like your, your man so much get rid of your friends because I mean are your but friends what if he really did do dick? something crazy are your though? friends fucking you are your friends gonna give you some time when you lonely when you lonely you get sick of your friends like one guy one of my friends is dating this guy and he called my other friend a bitch on the phone but he didn't know that she could hear him oh no and she hadn't did nothing and he was like tell that bitch something something oh, no, that's not <laughs> and she heard it so after that we was like oh he calling people bitches da 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 and he did try to apologize after but it's kind of like yeah that's too late awful. yeah it's too that's late. awful that's, <laughs> no, but, you, okay go ahead you, you, you no no go ahead look like just <laughs> I'm saying, like, from a gas standpoint, if you really like, say, for instance, I was dating you, I would feel like my key to really being on your good side is them. Right. Because they going to tell you, like I like him. I like him. You can fuck up as much. Like like, oh, we you like him. Y'all can <laughs> fuck it up or y'all can make it better. You know right. what I'm saying? So... I noticed That's that my friends are right part. about people. Um, they're usually not right about my boyfriends. <laughs> my friends are always like, oh, well, Steph, I don't know why you're fucking with this guy. They're always like that with all my guys. And usually my guys are really good. They're not that bad. Like, I show them that they're not that bad. They're not that bad. <laughs> but my friends, when it comes to other friends, <laughs> like other girlfriends, they usually be right. Mm -hmm. They they be right, right about that all the time. Like, And I'm always like, oh, you know, my friends, they just can't deal with me getting another girlfriend. They get jealous of your yeah, female Yeah, that's friends. how I would feel. And that's People how I do be jealous feel. of friendships but sometimes. But they're always right. They're Even right. more than like right. the opposite it's, sex. It's kind of different from what friendships, though. You know, sometimes, like she said, they always right. And really... We all grown in here. You know who your real friends are. You mm -hmm. know who you want to be around already. When you're 15, you know what friends you want to keep around you for the rest of your life. So I don't try to go off. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to meet new people and, you know what I'm saying, be friendly. But I don't let nobody too close to me anyway. That's good because you got your core backfired. friends you grew up with that yeah, you do exactly. work with and music and everything. Right. Like with music, just overall, I'm still around the same people I've always been around. Mm -hmm. Now, are, are you the type of person that other people's parents like? Yeah. Like, if they bring you home, yeah. they're like, he's a nice guy. He's respectable. Work it yeah. out. Stay with him. And I, I never really, <laughs> like, been in no real relationships where I went and met girls' uh, parents. Damn, they never asked you? No, I mean, <laughs> I have met girls' parents before, but I never, like, 
been in real relationships where I'm like, all right, Thanksgiving, we it, Thanksgiving, Christmas, that type of right. stuff. Because you but know the holidays I, are coming up. Yeah, every mm-hmm. time I have, you know what I'm saying, met anybody, parents, they like me from fathers, mothers, grandmothers. Mm-hmm. I'm just... I'll just be chilling. Dancing, I'm what you going to do for Thanksgiving or Christmas? You bringing anybody home? Are you going um, to anybody's house? I'm uh, I'm probably just going to be with my family on Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's an awkward time to bring somebody home, yeah. man, Thanksgiving. But with my family, like, they don't have no filter. So mm-hmm. they going to interrogate the female or whatever. If they, my aunties Damn. feel like she want to get to know you today. That's she what she gonna do, you know. She gonna be like, "Oh, gee, have I always bringing these girls home?" Nah, that's that's one thing. That's why they gonna apply the pressure because I don't, <laughs> right. I never so bring that, any so females home. So that's why it's gonna make them apply the pressure. My mother literally probably only met one female, two at the most, but like one that mm-hmm. she ever got to know. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's right keep now. In I'm older. Yeah, I'm older. Just not really bringing females around my mama and around my aunties, like. Nobody in my family ever seen me around any female, or I never had a female that I embraced as my significant other, like ever in my life. And it wasn't even me with a shell. It just never happened that way. Right. This week's episode of Lip Service is brought to you by Bevel. It's getting cold outside and the lower temperatures and gusts of winds are going to harm your skin. So make sure that when you're shaving, you do it with Bevel. It's the first and only shaving system designed for people with coarse curly hair and sensitive skin. And hey, just because it's cold outside, that doesn't mean that you don't shave, all right? You still got to take care of you. You know Lip Service wants you to look good so our listeners can get the first month of their Bevel subscription for free. Go to getbevel.com slash lip service and sign up today. That's G-E-T-B-E-V-E-L dot com slash lip service and you get the first month of your Bevel subscription for free. Don't be dumb when it comes to your skin. Start shaving smarter today with Bevel. Today's episode of Lip Service is brought to you by Ibotta. One of the best feelings in the world is a good deal on something that you really want. Trust me, I know. And with Ibotta, these deals involve real cash back. We're saving every time we shop with groceries, restaurants, clothing, technology. Ibotta's here to help you save. All you have to do is download the Ibotta app to your smartphone. It's free and you can unlock your rebates on Ibotta. Shop as usual, verify, and you get real cash. It's the hottest app and it's easy to use. Plus, you get real cash back on your favorite apps like Groupon, iTunes, and more. So get your phone and download Ibotta right now. It's free. It's I-B-O-T-T-A on the App Store. All you have to do is enter referral code Angela and you also get, in addition to it being free, $10 just to try it. That's 10 whole dollars. So remember, download the Ibotta app. That's I-B-O-T-T-A and enter code Angela when you register for your $10. For cash back every time you shop, you've got a Ibotta. Now, how did you learn about sex? Like how to have sex and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I got big brothers, and I ain't gonna lie, I've been sexually active for a long time. <laughs> and he's only for 21, by the way. Yeah. For a long, <laughs> a long time. time. A long time. He said. time like that long years. was long. Mm-hmm. At least 10, 10 years. years. Like 10 years I've been Damn, that'd be 11. Active. Like, yeah, oral sex, shit like that. I was. Ooh. Damn, who sucked an 11 year old dick? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, that thing even got hair on it. Nope. That's what I ain't. Nope. No, honestly, God. like, I've been sexually active for a long time. I, 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 I just been advanced. The balls been had little peach falls when they was. Time, man. Peach falls buzz at the age You didn't even know just, nothing about getting your dick sucked at 11, though, did you? No, I was probably forced upon it, but I ain't turning down either. I had oh, big no. brothers, you know what I'm saying? Peach they just like, buzz you know, balls. That's just how we grew up. Peaches. Like, my brother, he know, I'm 11. He like, man, get my little brother right. You know, like, mm-hmm. that type of. Hell I was nah. advanced. Like, by the time I was 15, I was. That is awful. Get my little brother right. Imagine if I was 11 and my brother was like, get my little sister right. <laughs> <laughs> that's so <laughs> terrible. That's a whole nother no, ball game right there. That's, no. that's a whole nother like, element. Yeah, just, that's a whole thing. That's a new low right there. I don't know nothing Damn, about you broke that. your mic after that. <laughs> no, y'all are killing me in here. <laughs> wow, so that's how it happened? They, they got you right? Yeah. They got and then after right that, there was no turning back? Not in... Even I was always sneaky like that. Like to be honest, I used to like my aunties, daughter, friends. Like they little friends, little daughters. I was just I don't know. I must have been charming or something. Like I just used talking. to get lucky. Mm-hmm. Like get lucky, just playing around the house, Punch. playing it tag, and it just turned Punch into it. some some home some more whole else. Wait, Honestly, hold on. Can like, somebody come fix his mic? Yeah, his yeah. mic is uh, broken when we're talking about his 11 year old self. Twisting. I think I got it now. I just can't mess with it. Okay. But, like, <laughs> okay. When I was younger, like my 
aunties, they buddies, daughters, and my mama, like, little, not even close friends, just associates, you know, like, I wouldn't say close friends of the family, because those, like, my aunties, and they kids, like, my cousins, yeah, but, yeah. like, little miscellaneous friends of their daughters, when mm-hmm. I was around, like, 11, 12, I used to just sneak up, I don't know, it ain't like I ever was, like, a little... Come here, you know. I just right. I lucked up. I don't know what we was. They doing. was coming to you, playing house or whatever. <laughs> like playing I never doctor. applied no pressure until I got to a certain age. I wasn't never like on that for real. Did you feel like you knew what you was scope on your nipple? Did you feel like you knew what you were doing? though? like yeah, how long did. did it take until you knew? I really no. I probably no. I was just getting. I was just having oral sex for mm-hmm. like a little up until I got like thirteen. When's the first time 14. you gave oral sex? I was twenty. Damn. Why? That was a couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's recent. It's September. Within the calendar year. Within, well, within real, the calendar like, year. Yeah, like, gay oral sex to a girl. I was 20, I, and it was because I wanted to. Like, Did you like it? I wanted to, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, so now you eating so everybody's you wait pussy? So long? No, I still only ate one girl. Oh, okay. That's nice. Day. Did she come? Yep. Yep. Did she squirt? <laughs> No. Oh no! So. How did you know what you know. were doing? I'm not even sure. I don't know. I just did know. she teach you? I was doing. Huh? Did she teach you? Mm, I probably learned on my own. No. Some instruction. She was navigating yes. and I'm, exploring. I'm, I think I'm cold though. I might be. You know. No, you don't. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. No, she tell you. The first I'm time, just, come I'm on. I'm telling you, you, I'm you, just you need, gifted. You need a little more practice. Know. No, <laughs> you need a little more practice. I probably had a lot of, you don't know. You like, don't judge me. Don't judge me. No, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm not judging. Don't do that. Don't do, that. <laughs> do you like call your boys after like, yo, I just ate some pussy for the first time? Do you yeah, tell I anybody? Had, I ain't calling them, but I, I wasn't uh, having it. Like, yeah. How do you just keep in a group chat? You know, shit like, we don't do group chats. Like, I ain't never, I don't call my homies like, yeah, I did it. I was the last fish. I was the last one. Like, my homies, them, they been eating pussy 15, 16. He was the last fish eating fish. Yeah, I was the last one. Like, it's probably a couple. (laughs) It was probably a, a, like, it's probably a couple of my homies right now that, you know, probably haven't, like, one or two of my homies. Like, my brother. I know my brother having he finna be twenty two. Damn, he still have it. Would you day. recommend it? <laughs> Is he scared? I don't, no, was I don't you scared? Even, I don't even think. Yeah, I was scared. You was? Yeah, I, was, I wasn't. Even, it wasn't was even that I was scared. I'm just like, is this for me? Like, is this for me? I'm supposed to be doing this right yes. now. Yes. It wasn't even that I was scared. You know, what I'm you saying? was supposed like, to been doing it. Yeah. Well, your eyes open and closed. I never had nobody to do it with. I don't feel like. <laughs> Did uh, you close your eyes? No, nah, I ain't close my eyes. I'm a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> What were you looking at? Did you look at her in the eyes or were you nah, looking in her looking vagina? At everything. I was looking around. I was looking up to see if she was looking at me. <laughs> she was doing when you looked looking? up. She wasn't looking. She her was, head was back. Going doing a lot of stuff. She was yeah, moving. Head back, grabbing, grabbing sheets shit. and shit. Oh, all yeah, you was on good job. Right. Either that or it hurt and she didn't know how to tell you. No, it wasn't yeah. hurt. It's hurt. They would have told me. <laughs> I don't want to use no teeth for none of that amateur. <laughs> All right. Now, do you ever judge people based on who they used to date? A lot of times we look at somebody and we be like, he used to date her. Ugh. Yuck. No. I do. I absolutely do. I do. That's my number one term. Your body off. count is your real estate. Like, But not even the count. Just yeah. not who the they count. are. Not nah. the count. Not that's, the count. That's what I base myself not the, not the count. Not the number. Not the but the people. Who you've been with. You know, when you are intimate with someone, you exchange like, Vibes and and a, a piece of your soul, a piece of what's in you, and and you also leave some of that with that person. And you know, when you got some of the vibe and the, and the energy from the wrong type of people, that's just a turn off. Like it make your pro- mm-hmm. your nah, I don't even give a shit saying? about the vibe you was getting. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> I what I I it depends if I see if I'm fucking with a guy and I find out that he was fucking with this whack ass bitch. Your dick value goes after. down. That's my point. You're yeah. a whack ass yeah. nigga. That's now. my point. Yeah, that's my point. And that's yeah. just what it's gonna be. Standpoint. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah, from a female yeah. standpoint. Because a whack ass bitch got whack ass vibes, and I don't nah, want no nah. that. I don't even care about her vibe. She could have been I the did. best thing that ever happened <laughs> yeah. to you. She's trash, mm-hmm. and now you're trash. Word. You ever look at some of the girls you fucked have been like mistake, mistake, embarrassed, denied, denied. So so the ones that you look at like that, do you deny it if somebody asks you like, nah, I ain't touched that. I'm a hundred. I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not gonna lie. But I, I'm not even gonna say it's too many. I'm like. What the fuck was I thinking? Really, it's probably me. Like, man, she ain't no. I never really like fuck with no mutts or no just strags of people. You know what I'm saying? I always had. You know what's the worst? What's the worst is when a person (laughs) was good 
when you fucked with them and right. then they become a bad luck. They fell off. Right. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That's a lot of that's what, that's a lot where I'd be like, damn, what happened? That, like, exactly. that's 95% <laughs> of it is that. You know Me what I'm saying? Too. Like, when I was messing with a female, she, she might have been popping. that. She yeah. was popping. No, you should have seen her when she was then, 13. She was in her prime. No, nah, seriously. <laughs> like, I just was talking about a girl like that, bro. Like, you should have, bro, we was in grammar school. She was the coldest <laughs> shit in school, bro. Like, it's over when she lost she it. Washed. She lost washed. it. Like, you know so. the girl that sucked your dick the first time at 11 still? Mm, I think I do. She on Facebook. And she washed. <laughs> um, and she washed or is yeah, she, she washed. She, she washed. She's washed. She's washed. Oh. Uh. Wow. And she was older. She was my brother them age. You know, right. she was like cool back in the day. But a lot of the females from 08 on up, like. No, but I be saying this about about women all the time. Like, you don't know how hot a girl is until she reaching like 29, right. 28. You know what I mean? Like, you can just, you're not yeah. bad. You just exactly. young. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Don't confuse the <laughs> don't, don't get it confused. Right. Everybody right. look good when they're 22. You're absolutely. <laughs> not right. everybody. Men, but men, I feel like men um, <laughs> get better and better and better no matter what. what yeah. Age. That's absolutely. No, true. some guys be um, bald and with a pot belly and um, uh, yeah they look worse and nah it, yeah man I could think of a couple guys that I know from back in the day that were really like popping. the shit and now they're really just shit cause they still <laughs> stuck on that they probably still well, stuck on belly. being the shit alright now that we got you uh, warmed up we got a little game for you it's a numbers game okay right. so we're gonna ask you a question you have to tell us the number okay the number alright how many oh, times shit. have you said I love you to a woman Mm. If you had to guess the number, it meant it. No, said how many times it. have you said, said it? Said it. Oh shit! Hundreds, Probably, yeah. hundreds. Like damn, nah, not hundreds. Like a good twenty, thirty. I ain't gonna exaggerate and say a hundred. I like thought you 30. kept it real because then you said it meant it. Yeah, it meant it. <laughs> nah, just so you I just be lie. saying I, I love you. Younger, all just, I am. All, I'm honest, but <laughs> I had to grow into that. I had to learn. Like you know, it was just a word to me. I ain't gonna. Lie. I love you too. It was just a too. word when I was young. Word, I love you too. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Like nah, I don't even play with girls like that. I learned the hard way. What's the word? I love you too. Now, <laughs> and meant it. I could count on one hand. That awkward moment when she's about to hang up the phone. She's like, "Okay, I love you." Okay. And you're like, right. "Okay, I I'll talk to that. you later." Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I'm not you. gonna say it. I can't tell you I love thanks. you too. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I probably just, I probably won't even say nothing. I probably just hang up like my phone. Like, you ain't so, hear it. like I ain't here. He was I try already to hanging up. She said, she said be twenty, thirty guy. times. You think? Yeah. Um, yeah, about 20, 30 times. Steph, how many times you think you said I love you? I love them all, baby. <laughs> I love, I love my them all. I'll fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> Every single one, even the ones that didn't hit it. I love you, babe. You know I, I love, love you. you. Uh, oh, yeah, you one of those. See? Uh, <laughs> She's no, first love, you. man. I'm scared you know, of her. I'm I all can't about mess with her. loving everybody. Te amo. Te amo, Angela. <laughs> Te amo, everyone. Gigi, how many times you said it? Too many yeah, times to count to? Too many times. Time. Too right. many. All right, See? numbers. How many people have you slept with? <sighs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> on the safe side, like safe sex? No, on the no safe kidding. side, they like <laughs> throw out a number. I don't even know if I'm exaggerating. Like, mm, no. <laughs> what, like? Man, I don't He's looking know. around like, like he need a lifeline. Somebody, hundreds, how many? Though, like hundreds. hundreds, hundreds. Okay, hundreds. Uh, hundreds. <laughs> you ever got nervous and been lie. like, I gotta go get tested? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But I never fell on the short end of the stick. Mm-hmm. Fortunately. Okay, okay fortunately. so you keep up the good. Your stick was yeah. always long. Yeah, fortunately, I always <laughs> stayed long on the. Sh- <laughs> yeah, fortunately. Long stick. Fortunately, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> How many? What's the question? What is the question again? How many people have you slept with slept this year? With? <laughs> this year, <laughs> this year. Uh, now Stephanie has a rule, though. Yeah, no, I'm just saying uh, it, it doesn't count. There's there's different there's different sections of the people that I've slept with. Mm-hmm. Everybody that I fucked with before I got my tits done doesn't count. It's not the same person. <laughs> Everybody I slept with before I got a lipo doesn't count. Not the same person. <laughs> So you know, since since I got you know since I got the lipo and the boobs, I want to say like just two guys. I've only slept with two guys. Okay, 
<laughs> we'll take it. Since my last life on. Gigi, how many would you say? Well, to start, I agree with um, Stephanie. New body, who this? Yeah. So, <laughs> new body, new that, number. That's that old Reset. other body. I don't know about that. However, I'm going to give you a number. And oh. I'm going to give you the number five because I plead the five. <laughs> One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five. All right. Yes. <laughs> Gigi Herbert, what's the most girls you've had sex with in a week? In a week? Oh, shit. Probably like in a, seven days. Seven mm-hmm. days. That, mm, when I was in my prime. In my prime. <laughs> he only 21, 21 years old. when I was in my prime. <laughs> Probably like in a week. <laughs> Mm, more than seven though okay like, so more like than one a day a, 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 a fair number I would say 11 12 in a week sheesh now would that make us hoes if we did that ladies absolutely 11, 12 in a week of Jesus course. Christ I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna tell you right now yeah I was a hoe okay I was a hoe I was being a man <laughs> once, once upon a time not long ago I was a hoe <laughs> I ain't had no respect for my body at the time oh uh, <laughs> Respect your body. I'm just, I'm, just I'm, just I'm just having fun, y'all. You know that's no, what they no. say about the female. All right, well, let's bring it to this. How many inches is your penis? Um, we know you measured it. Um, keeping a hundred. I don't know. Probably like eight. A hundred. Oh. Like eight <laughs> a, a fair eight inches, not under eight inches. Okay, so would you say does it is it a grower or a shower? Do you grow a lot and it's like small and stubby at first, and then nah, it grows, or is it always like I'm, I'm comfortable all the time? <laughs> like I'll walk around naked if I wanted to. Like I even no even and that's flopping. something I take pride in. I, if I was ashamed of myself, I'd tell you I was ashamed of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not ashamed of your soft years. penis. <laughs> Um, no, I'm proud of myself. Of penis. course not. Because some penises look like nice soft. <laughs> like instantly, you know what and, I'm saying? No, some penises do look nice soft. But yeah, some of them do. Some of them, when they soft, right, they like, look no like. Homo, I, 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 I look at myself. You I, should. I wouldn't. I'm not going. I'm, I'm comfortable <laughs> naked, like on soft everything. <laughs> and I'll rise to the occasion instantly you three, four, five times in the night. Nikki. I'm not about to just go ahead <laughs> and be selfish, get my row off and fall asleep on you. I care about my performance because I know y'all going to wake up tomorrow and call her and call yep. her right. and call her. Yep. You need some good reviews. Yep. <laughs> Everybody go see this movie. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't think I ever had like no bad news. Okay. Unless I intentionally like, huh, get you out of here. I just want to get you right out of here and you go. What is even the point of doing that then? Tomorrow. What's the point? Yeah. Just to see if you got it. <laughs> just to see if you, like as a man, just to see if you still got it. Some, right. like y'all were just saying, there's some females where you like, why did I do that? And I'd be like that sometimes right after. Like, damn, man. That was how am I gonna get her out? when I masturbate sometimes. How am I finna get her out of here? Like, <laughs> No, I'd be like, Fuck, I just, should waste why the time. Why did I just masturbate? Why did I shit? just waste right. my good nut on that dumb ass bitch? Right, like, literally, that's how I'd be like, <laughs> why the fuck did I just, you know what I'm saying? That's how I'd be a lot of times, like, damn, man, I just. Violate ugh, myself. Like, I'd be looking at something, I'd look at her back and, like, frown, probably jump at her, like, ugh, like get away from me. <laughs> that sucks. I would hate to be that girl. <laughs> no, I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm a little weirdo mm. sometimes. <laughs> All right, well, um, so ladies, what would you say is a, a good amount of inches for a guy? This week's episode of Lip Service is brought to you by Kopari Beauty. Soft, moisturized skin is a must, but it's really hard to maintain with these low temperatures. Lucky for you, our friends at Kopari have the products to keep our skin protected. Kopari products moisturize skin and hair, and they smell great. And even better, Kopari products don't have any of the sulfates, silicones, GMOs, and parabens. It's 100% organic coconut oil. Kopari tested coconut oils from all over the world to find one of the most premium quality for you to apply from head to toe. I use it as soon as I get out of the shower. It makes me smell good, and it makes my skin, ooh, so soft. My favorite is Kopari's Organic Coconut Melt. It's the original, and it has so many uses. You can even put it in your bath as a bath oil or use it as a shaving oil. The Kopari coconut melt can even be used as a nourishing hair mask. Imagine that. It's packed with vitamin E and it protects your hair to keep it long, strong, and shiny. So say aloha to the best skin and hair of your life with Kopari. Go to Kopari.com slash Angela and you get 20% off your order. That's Kopari K-O-P-A-R-I beauty.com slash Angela and you get 20% off. Uh, Eight's cool. Damn, she says cool. 
<laughs> it's, it's cool. You know, it's not about the size. Eight is enough. Eight is enough. <laughs> but it's not about the size unless it's small. It's the width, too. The circumference matters. Girth. Girth. Girth, <laughs> Girth is what makes it heavy. You Damn, know. you made that right. look real heavy. No, I, got, did that. I got girth, though. Yes. I know for a fact that's probably what it is, that, that compliment. He said, I know for a fact. But you know what's horrible? I know for a fact it's You know it's what's girth. horrible? What's horrible is a really long penis that's fucking skinny and shit. That's like the worst. Snake. It's like, like you, you all poking snake. at my uterus. Yeah, it's and just it's like, not, pokey, it's not pokey, pokey, enjoyable. Like, it's not touching the walls. Right, no, but know. when a dick is long and fat at the same time, mm. and it's poking at your uterus it's not just poking it it's, it's like mu- it's punching it, it and massaging it's it really and good it at the same time <laughs> <laughs> like literally I, I never even took, spent that much time like examining myself I just let females I base my performance off what she is doing usually literally. guys measure their penises on cable TV remote control oh, that's what I used to do right. when I was younger yeah. and my shit was bigger than the remote and right. sometimes yeah. when so I was in grammar battle. school and Apple when I was TV in high school count, my shit was so the same know. size as the remote bigger than the remote <laughs> no, like, so I'm then no yours is more it's more than 8 inches if it's bigger than I the remote I never measured it like I never we don't know what type of cable we don't know what type of cable he has I don't know if I if I say 10, 12 is that too big I don't know like I can't I heard, tell though, y'all. I heard from a very reliable source that this younger generation has been born with uh, the larger of the really? it's, the hor- it's the hormones in the meat. Yeah, it's the hormones in the meat. No, nah, literally. I nah, promise. I was in like, I I'm not even going to flex to y'all because you just said that you just brought back a fucking memory. I was probably a freshman, a sophomore, and my mom was pissing. I was getting out the shower. And I just so happened to get out naked. I'm tweaking. She on the phone with my auntie. She said, boy, his thing bigger than Carlos. That's my <laughs> daddy name. Like, yeah, literally. Mom. I promise my mama I, told me mom, that I was still in high school. I heard this younger generation is born with some monsters. You said you I, felt like you was popping after nah, that. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of swagged my way out <laughs> hey, the bathroom after that. Like, like, what? You know, you I was like, like, call my mama right now. She would tell you. She's like, man, my daddy my can't tell me shit. Fuck you, Carlos. No, you just Man, really that memory back to me. My mom <laughs> told me that she was on the toilet. She on the house phone. My aunt like, damn, house phone. her Randy just. She called me Randy. My middle name Randall. She like, Randy just got off the shower naked. His thing bigger than Carlos. <laughs> no shit. Like that's my dad name. Right. You know, so I'm like, you like what the dad. Fuck? If you don't get your little dick ass and try to tell me what to do, <laughs> you can't tell me shit now. Yeah. Your little ass dick. I'm, I'm, you, you my son. I'm the dad. You my son. <laughs> I'm, the daddy I'm daddy now, now nigga. Oh, 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 shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, nah, now. that's crazy though. Y'all just made me think about that shit. <laughs> How many drinks does it take for you to get drunk? Mm, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like, I don't even really. I never get off my square. Like I could have a bunch of drinks. I could probably have eight, ten shots, and I'll still be cool. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's just in my blood. My mom a drink. Right. My dad a drink. It all go see a penis and it soaks up all the Maybe, like, like, penis soaks up all the alcohol. <laughs> no, literally, I li- when I get drunk, um, not even saying I'd be like drunk, but when I'm drunk or tipsy, like I don't even. I don't feel like I can't control myself. I'm probably still the most on point person in the room. You, you know still aware? Yeah, and it just turned me to a whole another type of person. I probably just want to go get up with my little significant other or something like that. Just enjoy the rest of my night. It sounds like you was about to say turn me into a hoe. No, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Lick it, do it. Turn me into a hoe. I turn into some whole other shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. Don't nobody want to see me off no lick. Nobody ever slipped a Molly or nothing in your drink. Nah, I never got all the drugs I took was intentional. Was on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I did that. Yeah. Did your dick ever not work from trying something? Nope. That's embarrassing. Like I, I don't think I ever had an encounter where my shit just didn't work, and I just, you know, what I'm saying, never. It Even will if happen. It take you good. You good when you're drunk. Yeah, when I'm drunk, I, I'm good. I'm lit off anything. That's like, nice. It's, it's lit. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. No, because you know some guys they just they can't fuck when they're drunk and That's they just want to eat your pussy for three hours. It's like yo. Oh, for me. 
Like, I come never on. ever had that. Like, you gotta <laughs> fake come and everything because you're drunk, so your pussy's numb and you can't come. <laughs> so you gotta fake come and everything. Oh! He's like, he's like, nothing came out. Stuff. I don't. No, no more. That's it. That's it. That's the way. I'm not gonna lie because and after then you, they want to eat more pussy. Right after drunk. you come from, <laughs> after you come, you're like, that's enough. Like, stop going. It's good. If I come one time, I don't want you to keep on like yeah. eating me out. Just keep yeah. it moving. Uh, Let's no, do something the worst else. Is when my nigga hold me down, like grip me up, and won't let me get away. Like, ah, uh, I said stop. No, no, but it's really <laughs> nice when you find a guy that can fuck you while he's drunk and then fucks the shit out of you because they don't come so fast right. when they're drunk. They don't come fast. I, I and they come it. and keep going. It, it like goes again. either way. Either they can't do anything or they're doing too much. I think it's like, yeah. When I, I don't even get drunk, so I feel like if I if I fuck you when I'm drunk, you probably gonna try to get me drunk all the time now. Like <laughs> oh, I'm come get drunk. I want like, the Hennedy. They try to shit yeah, they try to set me up for the open dope every time possible. they wanna wake up now. Like it's not I don't even I wouldn't even say it's probably much of a difference because like when I be fucking, I probably could I could Come two times, fuck again. Yeah, he's fuck young. Again if that's I want that young to. shit. Yeah, he's young. <laughs> <laughs> Pro- yeah, that's probably because I'm young. It, oh, it is. JC, <laughs> <laughs> why are you looking bitter? <laughs> that's that young shit. I just have to adjust over the years. <laughs> now, how old were you when you first masturbated? Mm, I don't know. I stopped masturbating at like 14, 15. So, probably like 10. No, not you, even 15. I was in high school. I stopped masturbating. Why'd you stop? Grade. Cause that shit, like, I don't know, it's weird to me. You should I don't always love touch yourself. myself. I I do love myself. You should but love yourself by touching yourself. I don't know why. I, it's I, healthy. I it's good for your heart. It. I never heard it's that. It's good for your skin too. I never heard that, when but literally, you know, it's good like, for her skin too. A lot of times, I don't even, <laughs> I don't even really get erections by myself. That's why, like, I don't so never, you don't watch porn or nothing. Um, no, nah, not intentionally. I might. But when I was younger, I used to watch porn all the time. I used to like watching porn because I probably didn't it. fuck as much. You know, yeah, I used to sneak and watch porn on cable, all type of shit when I was younger. But <laughs> I, yeah, I, um, right now to this day, I don't, I, I don't masturbate probably just by me. I don't know, maybe me being such a street nigga, it's, uh, it's certain codes I think I gotta follow. All them street dudes morals. is masturbating just so you know. Don't let Excuse them tell me. you different. I don't Hi. know. <laughs> My name is Gigi McGuire, and I'm a masturbator. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, I like girls that you see, girls I'm supposed to masturbate. masturbate. It's cool for. I feel like guys. I feel like I'm masculine, so I don't want to do that. Like <laughs> I'd rather just wait it out, or I don't know. Like I just let my shit be on hard and get blue balls. I don't want to. You would rather myself. get blue balls and masturbate? Literally, I, well, I just wouldn't touch myself. Like sometimes if my if I'm hard and I just leave myself alone and think it about some away. other shit, it just go away. Like. Think about some other shit. If I masturbate, I'm going to get on hard again. I'm going to want to fuck. I'm going to have to keep masturbating. But what, if you want, but what if you're on the road and you're tired, you in bed, and you just want to bust a nut real quick and no one's around? I, sometimes, I ain't going to lie, I didn't woke up on the road and just came. You had a wet sleep. dream. Yeah, like shit like that. But I ain't never like sat down and like fuck it I just need to get this one off let me get the lotion and the nah. towel I mess I've been when desperate I a lot of times though like <laughs> on the road I've been desperate times but I can't recall me whacking out like I got homies that went to jail and said they never touched themselves for wow. a year and a half well. No, nah, I, I literally believe him though. Like, I believe he didn't touch himself for a year and a half, two years. He just was reading books and you know just ejaculating on himself and shit like that. But but not touching himself. I, like literally, like my homies. Like I got homies who said they went to jail and was killing themselves before court, after court, all that. But I got right. some homies like Get some stress I out. I didn't touch myself the whole six months I was in there, eight months I was in there. Like, so you don't ever Facetime with a chick and um. She'd be like, Nah, I've never been like, Nah. She don't get naked FaceTime, on the Facetime. If I'm on Facetime and the girl be like, Let me see your dick, I'll show her. <laughs> show her your dick out. Yeah, I'll show her. I'll show her your dick. I show it just you show it she, soft and she everything. don't like that type of shit. Yeah, soft. I don't get no fuck. I just turn the camera. Here it is. You shave you shave like, and everything. But I don't be. I don't have phone sex. What you saying? You shave. Um, you manscape. I ain't gonna lie. Or is it a forest I, I'll down probably, there? 
I don't even really shave. Like that's just I don't I don't shave. Like so you show that forest on the Facetime. Yeah, I don't I don't <laughs> shave. Like I ain't know I gotta get I gotta hear that from y'all. Like I need I learn as I go. Forest I learn something gold. new no, every no, day. So y'all don't telling to, me y'all no, you don't prefer have to a man shave to shave. It. Like no, don't shave. Don't shit. shave don't it. Just do trim that. it down. Use them clippers. No. Yeah, you gotta use clippers. Men use clippers. That's, that's what you what should I'm, do. Yeah, I'm not gonna shave myself. Yeah, that's what I meant. You use clippers. No, I would never do that. Give yourself a fade. Don't ever shave yourself. I ain't never did it. You know. Hit it with right. the clippers. Later. Get I'm your girl to yeah. hit you in the back and the ass crack. Uh, I don't know. Now, nah, I don't know if you should yeah, shave his yeah. ass crack. I don't know if I shave your ass crack. <laughs> See, nah, that's you took it too far, right. Stephanie. Yeah. I took it too far. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You shave somebody's ass crack. Hold on, Stephanie. You shave some ass crack with clippers? No, 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 no. One of my ex boyfriends, he used to grow like a, a patch of hair right above his butt crack. Like, mm -hmm. Right, it was like a, 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 a square. Yeah, where a tramp stamp would be. <laughs> you you know what I'm here. saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I used to like hit it with the clippers because it looked weird and it bothered me. So I would do it. He never did it before me. I would do it for him though. Okay. It was like a, a it was like a, a patch of hair like right, and then he has the two dimples in the back. You know oh, how people have those two dimples? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It, was, it, it was like, like two it, eyes it was, and a nose. Oh shit! It, it looked like a, a like a angry man. <laughs> <laughs> Looking so at me, I used to I used to trim it for him with the clippers. But I was, you know, he and I we were together. We were together for a couple of years, and I used to do like a lot of funny shit to him. I used to take out like his ingrown hairs on his legs, on his to, legs. Like, yeah, I used why to take would he out, have ingrown hairs on his legs? Isn't that if you shave, he shaves. I mean, his legs? anywhere you grow hair, whether you shave it or not, oh. you can get an ingrown hair. So. I, you know, like he would have like little black, you know, like you know those mm -hmm. those good ones, you know those good ones to take mm -hmm. out. Man, it was so good. It's nice to pop a yeah. guy's pimples. And yeah, stuff. I, I would be popping shit on his <laughs> back. Yeah, like I would create, I would create like pimples and with. white bumps just so that way I could fuck. You with would it. create them. Yeah, like it would just be a little, little bump, thing. and I would and just would make it into something just because I just it. wanted to fuck with his skin. <laughs> I used to take out his blackheads from his nose, his forehead. Oh, now that's love. I. We used to, but we would used to do shit like that. You have a girl do that for you? <laughs> like, mess with your face? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That means she loves you, yeah. man. Yeah. Only one, though. Only uh, one you know a girl cares about you when you get a little white head or something on your face, and she's like, come here, baby. Let what about if she that. pick your booger out? She loves you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I pick yeah, out I my man's yeah. booger. I'll definitely I don't know. I kind of draw the line at that. No, I would dig in it. I'd tell him that he has one. Especially if it's a crusty one. I don't know about a slimy one, but if it's a crusty one, I'd, I'd be like, you got a bigger, yeah, you know, one. do you need a tissue? Not a, not a, slimy, not a slimy one. one. Not a slimy one. A crusty one. <laughs> it's amazing That's the things the that you can love. do. No, yeah. but if, if my, if my, um, even, love, even, right? even somebody that I'm not in love with, just somebody I'm being intimate with, if they get sick, like, I will take care of them, wipe the boogers and all of that. Clean oh, up you're after so them. sweet. Yeah. <laughs> but I know they gonna take care of me. E. <laughs> That's it. Now, can you cook? Do you hear about can you cook? No, I cannot cook. We would like to thank Bevel again for supporting this week's episode of Lip Service. Don't believe the hype. Multi-blade razors can cause irritation and painful razor bumps. But the Bevel shaving system uses a single blade razor to cut hair above the skin. With the priming oil and hydrating shave cream, Bevel has a full system to make sure your shave isn't just close, it's perfect for you. Up to 80% of black men and women experience razor bumps and up to 30% of all men and women experience razor bumps as well. Part of that is because you're not using the right razor for your skin. You gotta use a bevel. You too can achieve clear and smooth skin by using the dermatologist approved bevel shaving system and shaving smarter. And ladies, the bevel is for us too. Nothing is gonna give you a smoother shave than the bevel shaving system. All you have to do is fill Gigi or Stephanie's legs and you can see what I'm talking about. Start shaving smarter today by getting the first month of your bevel subscription for free. Go to getbevel.com slash lip service and sign up today. That's G-E-T-B E-E-B-E-L dot com slash lip service and you get your first month of your Bevel subscription for free. Start shaving smarter today with Bevel. Literally, like that's what I that's what I look for in a in a female, you know, because I'm 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 used to being in the streets like all day, 24-7. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm used to. That's how I came up, just mm -hmm. being in the streets. Like I didn't used to spend time in my mom's house. Like I missed a lot of my little sister childhood just being out in the streets, out and about, you know what I'm saying? So I'm really just getting in a 
mode of wanting to stay in the house a lot because I I be I have a lot going on. I'm an artist. I'm a business. I'm a brand. So you know, right. I just think different. I move different now. So I spend a lot of my time in the house. So I, that's what I look for in a female to be able to just. If I sit in the house, can you just hold you know, it down. comfort me, hold it down, right. cook, clean, shit like that, shit that I don't do, cook, like that clean, I never did. This dip. Right, I never, <laughs> I never, exactly, that's mandatory. Most importantly. <laughs> but, um, like, I never even, when I was growing up, I never had chores. I was always the lazy one that never did nothing, you know right. what I'm saying? But <clears throat> my mom always cleaned up and shit like that. Like, my mom, she still. I'm so much of a mama's boy, probably. She She's still willing to cook and clean and wash my clothes and shit like that for me. I don't even, like, let her, but she w- wants to She want to do it. She's she like, let me come, come over and do your laundry, yeah, my baby. Yeah, you come over, come stay with me. Like, she be missing me and shit. Does she come to your house all the time, even if you're not there? Um, yeah, she'll come She'll come back, especially if I get her a key. She'll be in, the, in my bed. Oh, she don't have home. a key yet, because nah. she'll be popping up. Nah, if I get her a key, she'll be in there, like... Me and my mama like that. I can't yell at her. Or if my mama in my bed and I come in at 3 in the morning with a girl and we both drunk, you got to wait on me to wake my mama up. You know what I'm saying? Not even, not like I'm a little kid or nothing like that, but just me and my mama like that. I'm going to tell her. Even she a dope. Ma, you got to get out of my room now. I got a girl right here. You feel me? Like, my mom, like my best friend, even when I was young, I always told my mom everything about me, the good, the bad, everything Mm -hmm. I was doing in the streets, whatever. I didn't want my mom left in the blind about nothing, so... That's she must have been real happy when everything started popping off then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She real proud of me. Because she was like, listen. Yeah, it was a full 360 turn. Like, my mama, she ain't expect none of this. I was heading north like a whole other way. I was, mm-hmm. I just made a full 360. Well, probably a 180 because the 360, you'd have been right back where you started from. Oh, uh, yeah, 180. 180. <laughs> I, mean, I always say that too. I always do that. Yeah, I'd be like a 360. Might be right, yeah, 180. <laughs> All right, now, how many girls would you say, this is still the numbers game, that you slept with on IG? On IG? Mm, from off the mm. gram. <laughs> <laughs> that face was green. It goes down in the oh. DM. Mm. IG? IG, Snap, IG, and Twitter. Snap, Twitter. Social media. Over the hundred. Over, if, I, if it was hundreds, I probably owe 40, maybe 50% of that to social media. Damn. But I don't... I don't really attack females through social media. I might just like attack. follow her <laughs> or see it's her. And she might DM me or I might a- attack and DM her. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But yeah, I probably owe a lot of that to social media just because the world's so small because of social media. <laughs> excuse Gigi. I'm sorry. Excuse nah, me. What nah, happened? Bless you. She burped. I just burped. <laughs> no, I thought you sneezed. He said bless you. <laughs> but um, nah, like I probably owe a lot of that to social media just because the world's so small because mm-hmm. of social media and I'm mm-hmm. on the road a lot so it don't matter if you in LA, Miami, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna Ouch link you. if we wanna link. <laughs> you ever been catfished? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been catfished, man. That's the worst. <laughs> I hate that shit. I hate it. Like, I've been catfished wrong too. Like, two in the morning coming from the club, three, I'm ready. Like, pulling she up, driving, <laughs> coming to you and you getting my car and I'm like, what the fuck? This ain't the girl this from ain't the- you. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? Like, why me though? You know? And then I'm like, I ain't even an ignorant type of guy, disrespectful. I ain't finna tell you, get the fuck out of my car. So you now you gotta you fuck this like catfish. That. Nah, I ain't no, fucking the catfish. <laughs> I ain't fucking I'm gonna figure something out. Like, I'm probably going. Have to drop you off. We could flip some blocks while I probably smoke a couple blunts anyway. That's nice. So you'll still hang out. out. Yeah, I'll probably even though still somebody hang wasn't out. even honest. Yeah, you know, I ain't I, I ain't a bad guy like that, but nah, you ain't sleeping in the same bed as me. Though. You ain't the bitch in the picture. Get out. Nah, nah, you can't do that. Like I don't even I don't really another thing with me, like, if it ain't nothing special, I'm not gonna make it seem like that. I'm not gonna treat you like it's anything mm-hmm. special or how it lead you on. I never like I had to grow into not being that guy. Okay. I'm not gonna have you spending the night with me and all this shit and you feel like you special and we a part of each other and it's not that. And I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Or I'm gonna tell you, even if I want you around me, that's cause I want you around. Don't think nothing else of it though. Like right, take your toothbrush. Overstep your boundaries, you know what I'm saying? Like I always <laughs> let it be known right then, whatever it is. <laughs> what it is. Even with a female, you could have a significant other. And if I fuck with you and you fuck with me, it's because of you. I'm never going to overstep my lane. I'm mm-hmm. never going to talk to you about the next guy. That was never me. I'm never going to talk about. Ah, oh, so you, you don't mind being nigga. a side piece. Nope. 
<laughs> but not even, not even in a bad, not even a sad piece. Just <laughs> on me. If I like you as a person, I like you. I don't give a fuck about your boyfriend. I don't like him. Mm-hmm. That doesn't have anything to do with me. So as long as that's over there and it's not interfering with what we have going on, or I don't feel like you any less of a woman, or I don't want to fuck with you because of that. Like if you're not a hundred like me, or honest, it's like I'm honest, I'm not probably gonna fuck with you. Like I should, or I'm gonna fuck with you to a certain extent, but I don't really, I don't judge. I don't judge. But wouldn't that make you look at a a woman differently if she had a man and she fucking with you kind of heavy? Mm, yeah, depend on the situation, especially if you lying and you know what I'm saying you acting like you married to this guy and y'all in love and this, that, and the third, and you fucking with me, you know what I'm saying. But if it's a whole nother situation, I can't really, you know what I'm saying, blame it. But I, it it depends. Like it ain't like I'm trying to marry you anyway. You know what I'm saying. If you fucking with your boyfriend or whatever the case may be, and you dip off and fuck me, I don't have nothing to do. I probably don't call you for two months anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying. So. That's nice. Are you a phone talker, though? You know, as ladies, we love men that can talk on the phone yeah. and chit-chat it up with us. Yeah, I could talk on the phone. I could hold a conversation. I could make you laugh, all that. You know what I'm saying? For hours so, until the sun comes up. Yeah, if, if that's what I want to do, I could do it. How important is it to you, like, to date a woman that has a career and a job? Does it matter to you? Yeah, it matter. It matter. It, it, more so... It's about having morals and self-respect. Mm-hmm. That's what I really, you know what I'm saying, look for in a female. But that, too, I feel like if you have enough morals to get up and work a job, whether it's at McDonald's and you're trying to strive to better your life, I can't knock you for that. I respect that. But if you want to live a fast life like me, you know what I'm saying, and come in three, four in the morning. I can see if this your career, but if you just want to live a life and party and shit like that, I can't really take it serious. If you know that's what I'm all saying? you do is go to the right, club. If that's all you do. But as far as being a, a female that work a job and go to school, like even if you struggling, I respect that. And I wouldn't want to see you struggling because I know you got morals and shit like that. Oh, that's so sweet. You feel me? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you know, that's how I am. I always, be, I, I'm, I'm that type of guy. Like I never been the type to even be a, a if what they label them trick offs. Like I never really. I'm not the guy that's finna splurge on you right, and spend right. my money, even though you may know I have it. Mm-hmm. But that's not my lane. Now, if I feel like this is what I want to do, are you worth doing it? I, I will, but I mm-hmm. still haven't. Like, I've never been the guy that's going to go buy you a new bag, a purse. That was never me. I don't do that type of shit, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if a lady has morals and get up and work a job every day and save her money and pay bills and do the shit that you're supposed to do as a woman on time, I wouldn't want you to struggle with being in a bad position. I'm not that type of guy. But if you want to live a fast life, be in the club, you making thousands, and then you can't pay your rent, I'm right. not going to What are you do doing? You. <laughs> you ever had a girl trick on you? That's true. Um, yeah, I actually had when I was younger, but I always been the type of guy. I'm in, I'm a, I'm independent. I don't never, I never depended on a female for a ride. I never used a girl for her car. I always had my own early on. Like, 16, I was in high school. I had my own cars, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm-hmm. Um, I had a female that used to just buy me shit, but she started getting too attached. Well, and I yeah, knew she. Stuff, was, but I knew like she was you buying you that a, stuff too. To, yeah, basically to become attached, but she was doing that, and then I, I probably I wasn't even. The, I know for a fact I wasn't the only guy she was doing that for. Damn, she had guy. money. Was cake right. mama. I'm not the only How guy. She had money was, like that. That you fucking she with like that, money. and that you talking to or taking shit. Yeah, she was one of those kind of girls. But I got to a point where. I got money too, so I don't want you to even feel like we attached. I gave her literally. You can't be tricking off on me and tricking off on me. I just got fed up with it and just gave her money back. Like, here, (laughs) just her slide on me, gave her some money, and it's no, we don't have no ties no more. And I know there's more more than what you've done for me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm that type of guy. Like, I don't want you to feel like I'm using you or you doing this for me and we tied in. Like, you doing this because you did. I don't never ask you go buy me some shoes mm-hmm. go get me a phone that type of shit like that was yeah I don't like me. guys that do stuff like that I, that's you less of a man to me you know what I'm saying like a man is put on this earth to be a provider you know what I'm saying and be independent and be dominant you know what I'm saying that's what we supposed to be as men you never I never but you could ask my mama by the time I got 15 she wasn't buying my shoes no more mm-hmm. like, stuff like that that was never me what about women asking you for stuff? Like, hey, can it, I have... Nah, I can't, I've never been that type. I'm not finna say, huh, <laughs> here you go. Like, that's not me. It depends on if where your head is. You know what I'm saying? You got morals and shit like that. Or, you know, But I'm not finna just, oh, you know I got 
this money on me, you could pick up a thousand dollars. Hell no. All right, That's here's your me. last numbers question. How old do you think you're gonna be when you get married? <clears throat> How old? If you had I'm to pick 21 it. Twenty one right now. Probably thirty. Okay, nine years. That's really 30. young. That is young. When he turned 30, he's going to be cool like, probably age, like 40. Turn like 40. It, it, on, it, it, I would say 30 because it depends on where I am in life. By the time I'm 30, I want to have set certain goals for myself and just set myself in a position where if I want to chill and settle down, I sh- could be able to do that because I worked hard enough and set myself up to be in a position to do that. But I still think I don't want nothing to slow me down at 30. I still want to continue on with my life and, and and try to expand my career as much as possible mm-hmm. even at 30 like I see myself 10 years down the line still here in the game you know what I'm saying so I don't want nothing that's gonna slow me down but I feel like 30 between 30 35 that's a good age to probably get married if you in love and that's what you wanna do what would you say has been your biggest look so far as an artist look yeah like just like Nicki Minaj is it um the double XL freshman cover, like what would you say has been for you that you saw the most impact? Um, the song with Nicki Minaj, because I was young at the time and I was still like I was still in the streets, you know, mm-hmm. like it, my head right now, my mindset, the way I think and just my work ethic is uh, is totally different from when I was 17, 18, you know, so I was it's like. You still a street nigga. They see you on the corner. I'm still on my block on 79th Street. I got a song with Nicki Minaj, you know, so it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That was probably the the biggest, like, outbreak for me in my career at the mm-hmm. time, I would say. <clears throat> all right, so do you hear about what's next for you? Um, so we know. Because I know we talked about all of your personal shit. We learned yeah. a lot about you. We learned your dick no, bigger than your fun. daddy's. We learned that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Carlos. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, Pops. You know I love you, Pops, man. <laughs> you know I love you, Pops. We used to pass the master. <laughs> but, um... It, Did your me, dad have that sex talk with you ever? Like, son, you got to... Mm-mm. Never. Nope. I probably would have told him, nigga, you can't tell me shit. Right. <laughs> me, no. me and him never had that talk before. <laughs> he just let me go on and explore, huh, man? Just do you. Right. But um, as far as me and everything I got going on, I'm about to drop a um a EP actually next week mm-hmm. um on the 11 called Strictly for My Fans because really everything I've been doing, the whole double XL freshman cover and the tours I've been going on, I still haven't dropped any music in over a year, right. over 12 months. And my brand and everything is still going up. Everything is still building. So I'm, I'm going to put this um, EP out for my fans really just to show them, you know what I'm saying, a token of my appreciation for still being loyal and still, you know what I'm saying, being a real diehard fan base through mm-hmm. everything I have going on. And it's really me setting myself up and strategizing to drop music and do certain things, go touch these cities, these fans. Nothing with me is a coincidence. Like, I plan out everything that I'm doing. So I had this tape coming. I got another um, album I'm going to drop the top of the year, me and Southside. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop that. I got my debut album coming. So I have a lot in store, like, for my fans. I'm really just, it's about timing with me. You know what I'm saying? Timing is everything. The right plan and strategy, how I'm going to market myself. You know what I'm saying? All that matters to me. Like, as far as, as much as being in the studio, I feel like, Outside of the studio is just important. These talks that I'm having with you all and just um, press runs and really me being on top of my business and the numbers, what my album is going to sell and what my merch is going to generate, that type of stuff. I'm on that just as much as I'm on the music. So really me just feeling like everything is where it need to be and mm-hmm. I'm in a position to execute. That's just how me and my team going to do everything. It's fully organic and independent. You think everybody's used to the name change yet? Um, Yeah. Like, don't nobody call me Lil Herb no more. Everybody <laughs> call me G Herbo. It's, and it was really, I never changed my name or forced it upon nobody. It was really like my homies just seeing how I move and 
it's a it's a symbol of like growth, leadership. The G stands for general, you know what I'm saying? Young general. And it's really just me and my homies, everybody who are around me, the way we think and move and carry ourselves as a man before anything, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been a man. I've been a man in my house since I was 15, 16. I always was my own man. I've been a leader ever mm-hmm. since I've been in the streets, you know what I'm saying? And, and it shows. So that's where it all came from. All right, G Herbert. Well, we thank nice. you so much. We had a good time with you. Oh, yeah. No, I definitely enjoyed yeah. myself. Don't he seem older than 21? <laughs> yes. Yes, sure. yes, yes, yes. No, nah, I've just, sure. I just been out here for a long time. That's all. Out here. <laughs> <laughs> I've been out here for a long time, long, long time. All right. Well, that was lip service. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you visit our sponsors for this week's episode of Lip Service. Ibotta. That's I-B-O-T-T-A. Download Ibotta free today and unlock rebates and get real cash back on your favorite apps like Groupon, iTunes, or more. And make sure you enter code Angela for your referral code to get $10 back just to try it. That's $10. Listen, 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 listen.